Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Kim, and you're now tuned in to Sweet Kiss Creations. So, listen, I've been debating on dropping this video, but this is for somebody because in my prayer time, the father, like, he told me, he was like, listen, go read uh, Luke 4 and 16, okay? And so, Luke 4 and 16 is when Jesus, um, as Nazarene tr tradition, goes and reads the scripture, right? glory be to god listen and after that he was you know he's telling them basically he read the scripture in isaiah the prophet right from the prophet isaiah thank you Spirit. and um when it says this is the the good and acceptable year of the lord right and he's he told them they looked at him like ain't this joseph's son he was like man i'm telling you this prophecy is being fulfilled right now even as you hear it right so they were mad at him for the things that came out of his mouth my god so listen i stopped there because i'm like okay god I know this this scripture already, right? But no, Holy Spirit, like I was busy doing other stuff. So later he downloads to me, like they hated, they hated him. Holy Spirit told me clearly, he said they hated him because he spoke the truth. And so I went back to the scripture and read it again. And this time when I read it again, I realized that he broke that thing down. And he was basically telling them, listen, a prophet is not uh, without honor except in his hometown, right? And he was telling them how Elijah didn't heal everybody and how Elisha didn't heal all the lepers. And they got mad at him and tried to drive him off of a hill. You know what I mean? Off a cliff. They tried to kill him before his time. My God, today. So listen to me. If they hated Jesus, they gonna hate you. Period. Listen, you'll have people that's just coming. You got people coming up to you just looking at you crazy. Your own family, your own friends, people that you you know in your same field. Because when God cho chooses you, glory be to God. Let me show you how God brought the, broke this thing down to me. When God chooses you, it means that they hate God first. Listen, let me read this to you. Okay, listen. John 15, 18 through 25, the world hates the, dis the disciples. And this is when um Jesus is talking to the disciples before he's about to ascend. My God, today, glory be to God. Listen, it says, if the world hates you, keep in mind it hated me first. If you be belong to the world as it would love you, if you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, do not... You do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecute, if they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. They will talk about you. They will come up against you. Okay? They will sow seeds of discord. They will try to make people not like you. They will be jealous of you. If they persecuted you, it's because they persecuted him. Glory be to God. Listen, so it says, um, it says, if they obey my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. But now that they have no excuse for their sin. And see, this is why a lot of times people, people, it's not because you're not gifted. Okay, listen, hear me and hear me well. It's not because you're not gifted. It's not because you, the glory of God is not on your life. It's because God has chosen you. You have his glory. You're a glory carrier, my God, today. It's because, this is why they hate you, my God, today. So they, they're jealous of you and because they hate God first. They hate and, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He told, when I read that, the Holy Spirit clearly said to me, they hated, they hate us. They hated us. And he was talking about in the times of Jesus, my God, today. And it's the same for us because we're in oneness with Christ. When you're, if God, if Christ, if God sent Christ to the, to, to, to Calvary to die for your sins. And you, he's raised in heavenly places and seated at the right hand of the father. My God, today, listen to me. If he's seated at the right hand of the father and he's ascended in heavenly places and, and he now presides as our high priest. And we're one with Christ. If he died and when he was risen, then that means you are one in God. And that means if they hate you, they hate him. Because he's the one that chose you to walk this walk. He's the one that he's the one that gave you this lifestyle. You didn't say, okay, God, you know what? Just give me, you know, uh, make me an innovative thinker. He's God. He does what he wants to do at any given time, right? My God today. And you can't help that you were born with the gifts that you were born with. 
Okay? So if they hate, if they hate him, they're gonna hate you. Don't try to fit into them and don't stop questioning it. You hear me? Because I don't know who this is for. Don't question it. If they don't like you, oh well, they don't like you. Your mission is not to be liked by men, it's to do what God put you here on this earth to do. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. He said in 23, whoever hates me hates my father as well. He said, if I had not done among them the works no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. And let me tell you something else. You even talking and telling the truth, it messes with their demons. Those spirits that are on them, because now you know who we are. My God today. Listen, I don't know who this was for, but I love you with the love of Christ. It come with the territory, baby chosen by 